What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today, with an all new weekly reset within Destiny 2, we have even more upgrades to the Wishkeeper exotic bow. So in this video, we're going to be showcasing an all new secret chest to acquire the final upgrade to its intrinsic perk. We also have the location of the constellation, you'll need to unlock the new catalyst, as well as some tips for how to beat legend difficulty, including an updated section on the final boss cheese because it appears that Bungie actually nerfed it. And so, let's get started. Now, first things first, you will need to go to the helm and talk to Marasov to acquire this week's Catalyst quest, and it's going to tell you to just go into the Starcrossed exotic mission on Legend difficulty. Now, upon getting into the Starcrossed mission, uh, actually the chest and everything is going to be located further in. However, just remember if you've gotten the previous hidden chests, like as you can see, they will still be there and they're going to be awarding a guaranteed uh, like Vex weapon. So 100% if you haven't unlocked all of the patterns for these weapons, uh, it is still worth hitting up all of these different like previous hidden chests. But moving on from there, you're going to get to the section where you have to deal with the wyverns. And the big tip getting up to this point is, frankly, suspend. Like, if you are running especially a strand titan or, frankly, any strand build that has access to suspend, not only will that actually stun the unstoppable champions within legend difficulty, but it is so useful for getting those a phalanxes that you have to kill and, and so on. It is just such a useful ability to have in this mission and dealing with those wyverns as well you can suspend them and it is fantastic for just letting them not shoot you for just enough time for you to deal with them now once you have dealt with all three wyverns and then another wyvern that spawns and then the boss that spawns after that it's going to open up this vex portal that you can head through do that and now we have uh, the secret chest as well as the constellation in this area so for the secret chest first you will have to traverse this jumping puzzle with the moving objects, but once you're done that and you head out into this open area, it is immediately on your left, and you can see it here through the wall uh, thanks to my ghost mod. However, if you were to head directly to it, you encounter that orange mist and you can't go through. So what you simply need to do is like continue as normal, kind of backtrack and go forward, and then you will see the buff waiting for you right here. So grab that and simply turn around and head back through that area. There's not even an enemy you need to kill. You just grab the chest and as you can see, that will give you the final Snare Weaver intrinsic perk. Now, moving on from there, for the catalyst, very near where you picked up uh, that buff, you can see there is a little hole in the wall right here. So you're going to squeeze through there, and then that will lead to this opening, and here you can reveal the message, and then you have to have uh, the Wishkeeper bow to shoot the different constellation stars, and eventually uh, you can interpret this message. At that point, the quest step is going to update and you simply need to complete uh, this mission on Legend difficulty. However, it appears that just this week, Bungie may have thrown a wrench into a lot of people's plans for this mission because there was a well-known boss cheese where you could use the Wish Ender exotic bow or frankly another weapon with anti-barrier rounds and then you could shoot through this Vex wall as you can see and with your anti-barrier properties, you would also shoot through the Hydra shields of the boss. So as you can see, like with the Wish Ender, you can just slowly whittle the boss down from complete safety. However, that from complete safety is a pretty big part of this. So what you would do is initially jump down to start off this boss fight, and then I'm using footage from previous weeks, you would simply mantle up right on this ledge and then turn around and jump back. However, this week we got a patch for Destiny, like you had to install a new patch on Steam or whatever console you're on, so it appears that 
they actually patched the ledge you can jump on to get up to the safety. Like myself and all of my teammates were just not able to mantle on this ledge. Maybe it was just a problem with us, but again, we all had a huge issue. Like we could not mantle where we used to previous weeks. So thankfully we did find an update to that old cheese because what you now need to do to get up to the safety part is you go into the uh, like very left corner as you can see and you aim for this little ledge sticking out right here. You can still stand on this ledge and it will give you the height you need to turn around and jump back out and then you just continue the cheese as normal. But just want to include that in this video because I'm sure if they really did pass this and again it seems that like they did a lot of people are going to get to this part plan on doing the cheese and then suddenly not be able to do it so this should be the updated cheese if you guys are having trouble with that in any event once you take down that boss you are going to head to the reward chests open them up and you will get a brand new exotic catalyst for the wish keeper so what the heck do your upgrades actually do? Well, let's head over to the Enclave and take a look. Firstly, for the updated intrinsic perk, interestingly, actually last week, that intrinsic perk allowed you to have access to every single perk slot for this weapon, so that was kind of the big one. This week, it is the final intrinsic perk upgrade with Snare Weaver 4, and as you can see, it doesn't increase your stability more or anything like that, but if you look in the right-hand corner of your screen, you can see it does actually give you a small boost to your handling and reload speed, which, you know, isn't bad. Then after that, the all-new catalyst for this week is the Vorpal Weapon Refit. So increases damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super. Notably, this will increase damage against champions. And we have unstoppable bows right now and not to mention the wish keeper when it suspends enemies that will also stun unstoppables so if you are using this in solo loss sectors or somewhere where champions are present vorpal weapon could be a pretty big benefit because remember vorpal weapon actually does tiered damages based on the weapon you're using. For heavy weapons, it's only like 10%. For special weapons, it's 15. But for primary weapons, like the Wish Keeper, it's a 20% damage bonus. So that is actually nothing to scoff at. In any event, guys, that's what you're going to be getting for your Wish Keeper this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. Video, and as always, have a good day.